Hi and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Unify Protect Smart Sensor so that you received notifications when a door for example is opened or closed. In my previous video I did a review of uh, the Unify Protect Smart Sensor where I installed it on the door and at the moment the way it's set up is it's not much use as I don't get remote notifications when I'm out. For example, a burglar entered the premises via the door and the door was opened or closed, I wouldn't receive any notification to say that the door had been opened. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get notifications via Unify when your smart sensor is activated on your door. If you haven't seen my previous video, where I set up the smart sensor and install it and do the unboxing, then I'll put a card on the screen right now, which you can click on in the top right hand corner of the screen. And you can watch that video before moving on and watching this one. I'll also put a link to that video in the description here. So let's get started. As you'll see, I'm logged into the Unify OS. And what you need to do first is make sure that you have remote access to your Unify console. So in order to do this, you need to click on console settings from the left hand side menu, as you'll see I'm hovering over now. And then under the advanced section here, you will see that there's a box for remote access you need to ensure that that box is actually ticked in order that you can have remote access and receive notifications. So if we go ahead and tick that remote access box, you will see that there's a window which appears asking you to enable remote access. And it's asking you to sign in with your Ubiquiti account to enable remote access. Now, if you don't already have a Ubiquiti account, you can click on the don't have account link here, which will then take you to the Unify website, as you will see screen here, where you can create a UI account. As I've already done this, we'll move on and proceed further. So what we need to do is enter the email or username for your Ubiquiti website account and you need to also enter in the password associated with that account. So what I'm going to do is paste in the password and then click login. Now as I have two-factor authentication enabled it's now asking me for the app code so I'm going to paste in the app code and then once that's done, you will see that under advanced, we now have the remote access box ticked. So this now enables us to receive notifications and also to access our Unify OS console remotely via the Ubiquiti account. So in order to set up notifications, what we need to do is click on Unify Protect, which at the top of the screen, you will see I'm hovering over the Unify Protect icon here. And then once in Unify Protect, I'm going to click on Settings, which is the cog icon at the left hand side. And then from that menu, you will see that there's three further options, one for recording, one for system and one for notifications. So what we need to do is click on notifications. Then you will see it brings you into the notification screen where you can set up notifications for many various items. So what we need to do to get notifications when the smart sensor is activated is first to click on activity at the moment it's in system so we need to change to activity and then you'll see there's a list 
of devices in there. One for camera, one for doorbell and one for sensor. So if we click on sensor, then you will see it's brought us into the sensors screen and you'll see that there's one for all sensors and there's also one for UP sense, which is the sensor on my door at my home. So in order to set up the notifications for all the sensors, which is what generally you would expect to do, you need to click on all sensors and then you'll see that there's various options which have been pulled down from that drop down menu. So one for motion detection, one for extreme values, one for door open close, one for alarm, leak detected and low battery. So what we need to do to get notified when the door is opened or closed is refer to the door open or close notification. At the moment we have push notifications which pushes the notification through to the Unify console. Of course this is only useful if you're logged in to the Unify console on your PC at the time that the door is opened or closed. So what we can do is enable email notifications. So in order to do that we just need to move the slider across for email notifications under the door open or close section. So we'll do that now and as you will see that the email notification has now changed to blue. And that's how easy it is to set up notifications for your smart sensor. You can also do it for other options for example if you have it linked to detect when your smoke alarm or carbon monoxide alarm has been sound your Unify smart sensor will detect that the alarm is actually sounding on your smoke detector or carbon monoxide detector and it will send a notification by email as well can also do it for leak and low battery and motion detection if you're for example using it for motion detection. As I'm only using it for door open or closed we just leave the email notification and push notification enabled for door open or close. Now that that's been done you can now log out of your Unify Protect console by clicking sign out. So now on screen I'll show you the email notification that you receive by email when the actual sensor is activated. So in this case it's telling me that the Sense01 which is my Unify Protect smart sensor has been detected that the door has been opened and the time that the email has been sent as well. So that gives you an idea of when the door was actually opened and the time and the date. So at least you get silent notifications that way your intruder doesn't know that the alarm has been activated and that you have been notified which is quite useful. I hope you found this video useful albeit a short one. Keep a look out for further videos soon and I'll do some more in-depth videos. Thanks for watching, take care, bye for now.